What's up guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I connected my FPV drone or quadcopter to Betaflight on a Mac. So at the beginning of this tutorial I'm going to assume that you've already installed Betaflight. So open up Betaflight and you're going to be clicking on this drop down and you're finding all these selections that mean absolutely nothing to you and it's no help. You'll probably try manual selection and typing like absolute rubbish like what it is you need to do is install the driver. The CP210X drivers can be downloaded from here. So we click on this and we go to the Silicon Labs website. We download the appropriate one and we install. During the installation of the driver, your Mac won't allow you to install. What you have to do is go over to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and there'll be a little selection down here where you can allow unauthorized applications to be installed. Now remember this location for later on. Once you've installed your driver, I recommend you restarting your Mac. Then you'll need to connect your drone to your Mac. Generally it won't work, and this is the reason why people are stuck. Even after they've installed the driver, it's still not working. What I did after two weeks of trying, is I realized that I had to go back into security and privacy, back into the selection to authorize external applications and you have to authorize Scilabs for a second time. So you have to authorize Scilabs twice, once for installation and once for actually using. Once I had authorized Scilabs a second time, all I had to do was plug into my drone. So I clicked auto connect and with my drone connected with a USB cable to the flight controller, I plug straight in. and I connected straight away. And just to prove everything is working, so I hope this has helped you and it will work for you. If it still doesn't work, I would check your USB cable with a Windows laptop, maybe borrowed from work or from a friend or a family member. If you can connect on a Windows laptop, then hopefully you can connect on your Mac now once you've authorized Scilabs a second time. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, then please drop them in the comments below. Give the video a like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. There'll be more videos soon, uh, and I will try and help you as much as I can. But this is what I did after two weeks of trying, and it did work. So hopefully, it will work for you. Peace.